Five years on, Black Saturday survivors who narrowly escaped are appealing to Victorians not to repeat their mistakes. Those who stayed on in damaged communities are also keen to share their tales of recovery and hope. Emma O'Sullivan reports. The Sparks family of Kinglake didn't plan to stay during a bushfire, but on Black Saturday, things didn't go to plan. We were making it up on the fly because our fire plan went out the window pretty quick smart. The family ended up huddled between two water tanks. These pictures show how lucky they were to survive. And there's our front door. Here's our building supply shed. And for goodness sake, here's the only thing that matters. They're goddamn here. We survived. Dom is hidden in the back. Is, is and Lola's there. Hi. And Bron's there. Is and I'm here and we love each other very much and we're goddamn lucky. We're going to be OK. Five years on after rebuilding, they're now moving interstate. I think it's very important for us to, to move on for a while. But they want others who've been through disasters to know things can improve. We had many dark times, you know, many times where I didn't want to come out from under the doona. <laughs> but I'm out from under the doona and absolutely flourishing now, so it is possible. Buxton resident Bob Emblem also narrowly escaped. Unable to find his car keys, he ran. Service station there at the back exploding, all the gas cylinders were, were, were exploding and... There's this great wall of black smoke and there's the fire that's racing down beside me. And I think this is pretty serious stuff. A passing motorist drove him to safety. They're still finding bodies all over the place. It's just a disaster, absolute disaster. The retiree now dedicates his time to the community. We are growing and, you know, it is a great community again. A new hotel and conference centre is due to open in Marysville this year. Tourism is all we've got, really. That's all we want people to do, is to just keep coming back. And for Victoria, never to forget. Emma O'Sullivan, 10 Eyewitness News.